Welcome to this video, my name is Eva and this video is gonna be super special and funny hopefully because it's going to be about the Canary Islands because one person asked me in yeah some time ago in the comments if I can do a video about which island he should go to and maybe also settle or just do vacation and so I just want to share in this video my my experience visiting different islands and what I think of them so this video is not gonna be a super in-depth like video <laughs> it's just really just uh, going to be my experience and hopefully it helps you a little bit so first of all I want to say that uh, the Canary Islands they're a group of islands they belong to Spain but um, they are not, like, they're, they're actually next to Africa. So they're a little bit far away from, uh, from the mainland of Spain, but they still belong to Spain. So the people speak Spanish and yeah, you kind of still have the same um, uh, rules that also apply to Spain in the Canary Islands. So they're, they're, and there are different islands. They're, like the main ones is Tenerife and Gran Canaria, but then you also have some smaller ones. And before I get into it, I really want to say there is no good or bad, like every island is amazing and it really, really depends on, on you, what your per personal preferences are. So what some people find beautiful, amazing, other people find boring and ugly and what some people find boring and ugly, other people find amazing and beautiful. So there's no right or wrong, it's just each island is, is different and you really have to find what, what you like. So I will start with Tenerife. The Tenerife is uh, one of the bigger islands and it's, I think, so beautiful. So you have in the south, you have uh, the, like a lot of sand, a lot of, yeah, just it's, yeah, you can go windsurfing, but there's not so much uh, lush green nature. It's really more karg. And then when you go in in the middle of the island, and um, also I should mention, <laughs> I'm German, so my English is not the best, but I try. So in the middle of the island, there's a volcano, and it's uh, I think so fascinating to just go with the car and drive around the island and go to the go to this volcano because the landscape changes and I, I, for me it feels like you're in a in a movie when you go with the car and it's just yeah it's just amazing how nature changes and I think it's really fascinating and then in the north of the island you have a rainforest so is it really where you can go hiking so I think Tenerife is the, like the nature is super diverse so I absolutely love Tenerife and also some benefits if you want to for example relocate you have two airports you have hospitals there are some people living there so maybe if you have children your children can go to school actually and yeah so it's not it's not it's not super small it's like you have some stuff going on there's also some activities like you can go to cinema etc and you also have a university in Tenerife so yeah I think that a lot of people from from Germany, for example, or from Scandinavia, they go to Tenerife to settle down or to retire. And yeah, so I can definitely recommend for Tenerife to to settle <laughs> if you're uh, curious about the island life and you really want to try it. And also I can recommend to, to go on vacation in Tenerife if you, for example, want to go hiking, but you also want to... In, like hiking in lush green nature but you also want to uh, discover or you want to spend some time at the beach I think that Tenerife has has it all kind of and then the second island that I want to talk about is Gran Canaria Gran Canaria is right next to Tenerife and it's really also super amazing I think personally personally I like the nature in Tenerife more I think that the island per se is more beautiful than Tenerife. That's just my personal viewpoint. Um, but people say differently. So in, in, in Gran Canaria, what I like so much is that you have the city which is called Las Palmas. And for me, it's one of the best cities uh, where you can live because it's like you have a, hu like a huge beach where you can go and see friends and play volleyball and you can go in the sea swimming. So I think that Las Palmas it's such a cool city and also you have a lot of uh, digital nomads that come 
that come there and spend maybe some winter months there. So there's a lot of exchange of knowledge. You also have a university there. And I, that in Las Palmas was actually where I was living and I really liked it. I mean, it's not the, like the architecture is not really that, like it's not my personal preference. Um, but it, it was like the life quality is really cool in Las Palmas. So Gran Canaria, I can recommend if you are, yeah, if you just want to maybe, because there's also like, you can also go hiking, the hikes are so beautiful, the island is also really beautiful. So I can still recommend uh, Gran Canaria if you, want to, uh, if you want to go on vacation, but also if you want to live in the Canary Islands and you don't know where, uh, maybe Gran Canaria, especially Las Palmas, is great for you if, you're, if you like a city, if you like the city life or the smaller city life, if you maybe you don't like driving with the car as much, then you can definitely maybe try out Las Palmas and Gran Canaria. And yeah, also really an amazing island. Then there are some smaller islands and the islands that I went to was first of all La Palma. La Palma is, is an island that is also so beautiful. I was there um, with, with my ex-boyfriend and with some friends and it was really nice and I definitely want to go back to La, La Palma because it was the nature was stunning. So um, like you have natural pools, you, you can go hiking and it's it's insane because it feels like uh, there is a like the nature it 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 sh like yeah it was just really fascinating for me and it felt like you were in the tropics but you're still in the Canary Islands because the nature reminded me so much of for example Thailand so yeah I definitely want to go back to La Palma for hiking do I want to live in La Palma no because it is smaller so. Yeah, they don't have a university, for example, and also not so many digital nomads, but it could be perfect for you if you really love amazing nature, but you don't, but you like more the quiet life and the quiet pace of life. Also, flying there was quite an experience. Um, so, yeah, I, I, for me personally, um, I think it's the, the best destination if you want to go hiking but maybe living is more for people who want a very quiet, uh, slow pace of life. And then also the islands that I went to was Lanzarote. Lanzarote is also like sm smaller and um, it was interesting, but I, I would like, I would be okay if I don't, I don't need to visit it again. Um, because it's more like it reminded me of, of the Lord of the Rings <laughs> when they go into Mordor. So, yeah, I mean, but um, Lanzarote for many people, I think it's really interesting who are interested in, in the rock formations. And it is, in its own way, it is very beautiful, but I could not imagine living there. But I actually met a guy, he was from the UK and he lived in Lanzarote for I think 10 years and he absolutely loved it but then he divorced and then he moved away but he definitely loved uh, Lanzarote so I think that in the end you still have to see the different islands for yourself and you really have to find out for yourself which one you really want to relocate because in the end each island is so, is so different and then the last island that I went to um was no i think that was it so other islands is fuerteventura fuerteventura is really at least what my friends told me who, uh, who went there it's really great if you love surfing it's quite famous for surfing and also it's yeah but there's like it's also smaller so you don't have huge cities in fuerteventura and uh, you don't have that lush green nature that you would for example have in la palma and then also um, the last two islands is El Hierro and La Gomera and especially La Gomera is quite famous for like apparently a lot of hippie from Europe they go to La Gomera to live a more unconventional life and they also live in caves so it's a uh, very small but also amazing climate amazing nature and it's quite famous for hiking so I think in general in La Palma, La Gomera and, and El Hierro you can do amazing hikes it's really famous for hiking 
So, yeah, but again, for me personally, I would not want to live there because it's really small, like really, really small, and you just don't have the same access that to things that you might have in Gran Canaria or Tenerife, like hospitals, cinemas, and stuff like this. And then you have the last island, which is El Hierro, and it's the same, amazing nature, super beautiful, and very lush, very green, amazing for hiking, but maybe, yeah, maybe you want to live there, but personally me not, because it's really small. So I really hope that I could give you a short introduction to the islands. I mean, in the end, it's really my personal opinion, but maybe it helped you just to get a little bit an overview about the different islands. Um, and yeah, I really hope that you that you will come see them because they're so... Like, I think every island is so special and especially um, you can take flights in between the islands if you book them in advance and um, it gets very cheap and also you can take the ferry in between the islands and so you can do island hopping which is amazing then you can see so many different islands and also if you have the residency you can get the NIE which is a Spanish number and then you, you get I think 75% discount on the ferry and the flights in between the islands so you can actually especially if you book in advance you can fly for 10 euros from one island to the other which is uh, really fascinating. So yeah, for me, I still want to explore El Hierro, La Gomera and Fuerteventura. Um, yeah, and I definitely want to go back to La Palma to go hiking because I was there for four days and it was not enough time um, because yeah, there's just so much to discover and it's really beautiful. And yeah, in Tenerife, I maybe want to live when I'm older <laughs> and a little bit more relaxed. And for now, my dream is to live in Las Palmas because it's just a really cool city with just a constant flow of new people coming and yeah, and really great weather as well. So I'm really excited if you have already went to any of those islands, what was your experience, maybe you had different experiences and yeah, I would be really curious, maybe you plan to one day visit an island. Always remember that I actually plan to do retreats on the Canary Islands, preferably Tenerife and Gran Canaria. Um, yeah, because those islands are so beautiful and I really want for people from other countries to actually see how amazing the Canary Islands are. So that will be something that I plan before my 30th birthday, so I'm gonna do it for sure. So who knows, maybe you watch this video and I already have some retreats that you can attend to. And yeah, so this was this very short video. It was really just a, just a very fun, cute video. And that's it. So if you liked the video, please like it, subscribe to my channel and I see you in my next video. So bye bye.